Here's Chris from 40 Thrive. Don't mind the baby face. I'm supposed to be going to a costume party later and I had to shave the whiskers. I'm here to talk to you today about something I experience and a few of you might experience every year this time of year. I'm going to take a little step off the beaten path here. I'm here in a beautiful park. You can see the beautiful changing of the leaves right now occurring here in northeastern Ohio. Absolutely beautiful here at uh, French Creek Reservation. So, some interesting things have occurred in my life. And I suddenly find myself with uh, fewer objectives, uh, unexpectedly. My business has become very self maintained right now um leaving me with sort of uh not knowing what to do with my free time and it's very easy to get depressed in that situation because i went from having an objective or even a healthy amount of stress uh to now oh god you guys got to see this view look at this you probably the camera doesn't do it justice. I tried to go in uh, panoramic mode or landscape mode, and it's just too hard to hold the camera that way. Good Lord, that's beautiful. So, I came out here to kind of cl uh, clear my mind, and within like five minutes of listening to a nice little segment from uh, Andrew Huberman, I was reminded of some key points to remember when you're feeling kind of depressed. And it all stems from uh, our dopamine. And, you know, dopamine is, um, you know, more complex than probably how I can describe it. But I do know that it's what motivates us. It literally makes us want to move forward and pursue. Um, it could also be associated with um adrenaline um and uh it there's a there's a little hack that i've learned when you find yourself in a situation where you if you don't have that objective you don't have the dopamine you don't have anything to motivate yourself to go out and pursue that act of pursuing literally produces dopamine it's wired into our DNA from our caveman days, you know, when we had to go out and hunt and something had to motivate us to, you know, uh, get up and moving. Otherwise, guess what? We weren't going to eat for the day. Well, it's easy to lose sight of that in today's modern society. So the little hack that I learned is, and I'm also going to tell you at the end of this video, something that is very detrimental that you don't want to do. That's a chipmunk. He tried to attack me. I see you. Um, I'm going to teach you uh, something that you don't want to do. It's detrimental to your dopamine. Um, but there's a hack to getting yourself out of a funk. And it's literally faking it till you make it. You don't know what to do with yourself for the day. You don't have an objective. You kind of find yourself kind of lost, kind of in a haze. And you kind of lost whatever it is that you're trying to pursue. In my case... What do I do? I finally have a business that's finally uh, operating on its own. I just want to show you this, uh, this, this beautiful, beautiful surroundings I'm in right now. Well, it's, um, it's proven that the simple act of moving through um, a space or just driving or even giving yourself something beautiful to look out at we get so close to just seeing things kind of so close up if you get out and move around and as things literally move past you as you as you allow your eyes to kind of like trace things and 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 look at things it will naturally um create dopamine it will it will um kind of wake your body up into this state of like, oh, what are we doing? Should we keep an eye out for, for prey, for predators? What are we doing? We're moving right now. We're doing something. And it will 
uh, help boost your dopamine. And even if nothing else, just getting out, you know, getting out of the house, take in some fresh air, do some walking, get some exercise, all these things are going to help boost your, do your dopamine. Um, just a ton of places to get lost in this park. It's so cool. You kind of don't know where to kind of go. There's paths that split off. Uh, there's there's other little, just kind of like, what, what's that? Is that is that man-made? Is that, you know, did deer make that? I'm on a little landing right now overlooking a, a, a creek. That is, in fact, the, the French Creek. So, the other thing I'm going to tell you right now that is detrimental to your dopamine and what you don't want to do. It's very easy when you don't have some sort of objective or plans or deadlines to meet. It's very easy to just kind of dick off uh, right at the start of your day. Uh, whether it's some sort of just um, any kind of self-indulgent act, you know. Um, once you immediately, you know, go into that, um, it's all downhill from there. You've, you've kind of peaked your dopamine for the day. And then I promise you, immediately after that, you're going to find yourself in a very depressed state once again. This is so beautiful. Um, I've, I've fallen victim to it countless times over the past few, few weeks where it's like, oh, look at me. I got nothing but free time. I'm, I'm just going to loaf around all day and binge watch, uh, some TV, binge on some podcasts, uh, you know, whatever. Um, be cautious of that. Be cautious of overindulging yourself in any form or fashion um, without giving yourself some sort of effort to make that kind of more of a reward, I guess you could say. You know, save that maybe for like the end of the day um, to, to feel like you've kind of earned that. But to just go right at it without having put in some kind of a work ahead of it you're going to get yourself very depressed. Um, so that's my tip for you. If you are feeling kind of um, kind of blue in this time of year or any time of year, um, fake it till you make it. Get out there and take yourself on a walk. Um, go for a drive. Um, Get into some cleaning. I know it's it's it, the hardest thing about being depressed and, and having sort of a lack of motivation. Your 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 brain literally senses it as pain when you don't feel motivation and like you know you have to do something. Your brain literally literally perceives that as ah I don't I'd rather not I'd rather do anything than that right now. But once you get into it, once you start doing it, you. Again, it's that act of moving forward, of, of small little achievements. You could set these small little goals for yourself. And it, you get this positive reinforcement. And that's another thing that helps boost your dopamine, is by setting small goals, very small achievable goals, you start to get this sense of achievement, this positive reinforcement, and that'll help lift you out of a funk. It might not be a permanent fix, but you never know. After that something might present itself to you and and next thing you know you're you're uh back to yourself again so there's my tip all right one last view of this scenery just so so awesome looking down there in the holler down by the creek cheers